Shalom, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakurash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And I just wanted to do a quick video, you know, dealing with, you know, uh, being at peace, you know, with prophecy. Because um, a lot of times, you know, the negative things that we see happening around us, to us, you know, in the world, you know, sometimes, you know, it can get the best of you. And it's only right that, you know, you're vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. It's only right that, you know, so it's, you know, it's only natural, I'll say, that you're offended by someone, you know, slandering and, and, and all these various different things that, you know, we as men of the Lord have to endure. Um, as the scriptures say, through much tribulation, we much we must enter into the kingdom of heaven. You know, so, you know, over the years, I've I've tried to constantly keep at the forefront of my mind. You know, one of the various things, of course, um, is to anything that happens, you know, a way to find peace is just link it to prophecy. You know, as uh, I believe it's the book of Wisdom of Solomon states. Um basically you have to let wisdom meet thee in all thy thoughts you know let wisdom uh, uh you know be at the forefront of everything you see everything that you see everything that happens you have to extract the spiritual you know understanding of what it is and apply it to yahweh bahashim yahweh shai and it's truth you know everything that happens to you everything you see you know, even when it offends you, even if it's against you, 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 you basically a way to find peace is tied to prophecy because offense is one thing, you know, but, you know, being consumed by that offense. All right. Is is what can happen, you know, if you allow others who were made to be in their lots, you know, created to be in their particular lots when you you know now we we argue the doctrine you know that, but there's particular things that men are going to do that are going to make us look bad case in point the guys who are walking around with guns and putting them on social media you know um we're we, you know when you see it you know your first thought is well it makes us look bad well it makes you know uh, uh it, it it makes them look bad because we're not of that. We don't teach that uh, uh, or, or promote that behavior because we understand, you know, <laughs> the ramifications of such actions. All right. And what they can lead to, uh, especially in these times. So we want to stick, you know, ultimately uh, uh, to, you know, the, the, the spirit. All right. Be nourished by the spirit. Be, you know, emboldened in the spirit. OK. The Lord's will. OK. Because you're going to have to have men that do these things, you know, and if you don't understand that, you know, you can kind of drive yourself crazy because you got to think just like you got like Sonetta questioning the most high, you know, what about this? How does he do this? What, what about that? That this? See, he always has a question, you know, questioning the most high's will and why he does particular things and how, you know, and you and and, and you on the earth. You can't even figure out how a simple, you know, a sperm cell can be nourished by an egg and bones grow a heart and a whole per. You can't fathom that. You don't understand the most high. You don't even understand the things that are right in front of your face. <laughs> but you're going to try to calculate eternity. OK, but but even them, you know, they when you really listen to them, they have a problem with the will of the Lord. You know, and we can't be offended at the will of the Lord, man. You know, we have to uh, ultimately find peace in everything that's happening around us and just ride the wave because we're going to be numbered amongst the transgressors, man. These guys ain't going to stop. This is a scripture I have. I have two, actually. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 15. That which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered. And these, the, you have particular jake that are wanting you know they don't have the spirit you know they're they're carnal men 
okay and, and that's okay you know that's their lot that's what they were appointed to because there are going to be race wars okay we can't stop that from happening all we can do is offer up the sacrifice that we are uh, uh, to offer up and hope that it's accepted because it's no way out at this point you know the the heathen are ultimately going to have their narrative okay and they're going to run with their narrative and that's okay because that's how it's supposed to be that's prophecy them having a narrative is prophecy you see what i'm saying we cannot uh 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 want we cannot uh that which is one and cannot be numbered all right ecclesiastes 7 and 13 consider the work of god for who can make that straight which he have made crooked all right so there's particular things that are going to irk you like vocab malone he irks you he pisses you off even his look his his smile you know how wacky he is but at the end of the day if he's not there then you know we we have to be proved we have to go through tribulation we have to have people to slander our name and say the damnedest things about you man like people who who literally are injurious in their uh in their intent like they want you hurt they want to harm you they want to say the most harmful thing and do the most harmful thing to you because of some offense that they may have and these men are going to rise man and they're going to do shit it's going to hurt your feelings they go personal information stuff that y'all said and it's you know confident these men you know they'll you know but these things must happen these things must happen so when it happens yes you have the natural feeling of uh damn you know or or you you feel you want to defend yourself but at the end of the day it has to happen prophecy has to be fulfilled so everything that happens what you do is you find a way to tie it to prophecy okay even when you are judged by the most high you know ask the lord what is he trying to tell you because if you get too caught up in the bitterness side of it, okay, you can be consumed and end up making a decision that is going to lead to harm that the ministry be blamed or you do something stupid to yourself. And when you do something stupid to yourself, you're actually doing it to the body as well because we're going to be the ones that are going to have your back. You know, if, 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 you know, if it's uh, not something too goddamn crazy, you know, but. You know, you have to uh, ultimately be at peace, you know, with the Lord's will. You know, there's particular things written and there's particular things that happen that even we even know at the time of Yahweh Shai, like the zealots and, you know, being being persecuted. And like these men are back today in their lot. They were appointed, you know, they were appointed. As a matter of fact, let's get that even as they were appointed. You see? And, and through that, you know, although you inhale, there's a there's a sense of reason that comes over you. You know, when you think like that, you're like, okay, well, why did this happen to me? What is the Lord trying to tell me? What what type of bullshit I've been doing? I know I'm in, I'm being judged. Instead of you ultimately uh, uh looking for offense and and or the or or ultimately uh, uh worrying about the bitterness that came what would happen you know there's another side to things the, the lord is working within everything he's all in in all his wisdom can be found if you look at a simple plant you can look at water streams you can look at the sun the moon his wisdom is in everything so with all these things that happen nothing happens by chance this was already written you know and you got people who buck up against that well well, well how do we have free will well this is my simple answer you know question to that is can we read about the destruction of babylon the great right now absolutely we can go read about it in revelation the 18th chapter isaiah 34 isaiah 13 isaiah 47 you know, in various other places. Um, has it happened? No. So, so, so if we had true free will, we would be able to, something on the earth could happen to where man can change that outcome. 
of Babylon the Great being destroyed. You can't change that outcome. Okay, you can't change who's going to be delivered. You you can't uh, uh, change, you know, who's going to be destroyed. And that's the day that we uh, ultimately want to come, you know, the day of doom to where the judgment of the Heavenly Father reigns supreme through Yahweh Shai, because then a righteous judgment will be, you know, uh, set forth. And, and, and you, through doing what was right, putting off the flesh, constantly enduring, laboring, okay, you kept your integrity, you can be justified in that day, man. So, so, so we have to, um, you know, to the best of our ability, man, and it's not the easiest thing to do because you're in this flesh, and that's the problem, man, this damn flesh, man. You know, once we get rid of this, man, we can we can ball till we fall. But as long as we and this is a prison, you know, this flesh is an actual prison, man. You know, and that's actually a lesson that I wanted to do. You know, it's like, man, we literally, man, whew, the, uh, this 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 flesh is a damn prison, man. And we're in a prison planet. You know, it's like, where can you go? Where are you going to go? to the outer space you can't escape this shit man hell the flesh and the world man goodness goddamn gracious Whew. this is uh first peters 2 and 8 speaking of yahweh and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense even to them that stumble at the word being disobedient Okay, one, two, also they were appointed. So they were appointed to be disobedient and be against the word, to be against the men of the Lord, to try their damnness, to tear down the house of David, man. Here it is. We're at the very end. And you have particular Israelites with their platforms. All they do is tear down other Israelites. That's it. Nothing else. No true edification, no prophecy. That's what they do. But you know what? That's what they are appointed to do. So on one end you like how can he be like this 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 nigga got a demon on him you know well ultimately the lord wants them to do that you know and then once the story is fulfilled and the judgment that they get before it's all said and done and and, and when it when it when it all goes down who the lord justifies that makes the story that much more perfect man is that everybody has to go before the judgment seat man okay Let's see if I can find that. Sit before the seat. For we must all. I believe it's in First Corinthians. Yep. First Second Corinthians chapter five and ten and uh And 10, 5, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach. So if you truly believe that, then you would make sure that your sacrifice was that much more on point so that when it's all, when, when true judgment comes down, you can be justified, man, because there's no way, man, if, 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 if these niggas had it their way, we would all be destroyed. You know, first of all, <laughs> You, the, the, the art of war, okay, is not to be tacky, man. And don't show off. First of all, if you, you know, but you guys, but you know what? The Lord put the spirit on them to do that. So I have to, you know what? I have to say, you know what? Oh, well, you know, you correct them a few times, but there comes a point where you have to say, well, that's what they were appointed to do. They're not going to stop. Just be at peace with the Lord's prophecy and you move on and focus on your sacrifice. And then, you know, when, when it's all said and done and, you know, because they're going to try to put us all in one box. So the Lord is oh, he's going to have to intervene, man. You got to hold the Lord to, to his promise, but you got to do your job. But he promised. What did he say, man? I'm going to lift up a standard, man. You know, some of you not going to taste death. You know, like, like, so, 
you just have to work towards that. And however it happened, it, you know, but it's going to be miraculous, man. And it's going to be scarce. You know, we're going to be in some messed up situations. And even that is prophecy. So you can't get offended at prophecy. It says, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. So everybody is going to be judged. There, you, you never get away. You know, this Internet troll culture, like people don't truly understand you know what's going but the lord put he put it in your spirit to be 40 something years old and be on the internet trolling now you know that's a demon on you man you ought to be ashamed of yourself making fake profiles and pestering people following people around the internet putting you know making videos putting brothers personal you know like 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 that but hey that's a lot. That's some something that is very, you know, as, as much as it hurts, it's, it's, a, it's a necessary evil. Like vocab, he's a necessary evil, you know. And they help to solidify you being the elect, you know, because you can't just be the elect and nothing justifies you being the elect. Nothing happens to so that the Lord can justify you. No, you got to go through things. You got to be offended. You know, you're going to and these things are going to happen. All right, but the bitterness cannot overcome us. Let's get that. Let's get that. This is uh It's the book of Hebrews. Twelve and fourteen. Follow peace with all men and holiness without such no man shall see the lord <laughs> see that follow peace man don't be looking waking up looking for strife man waking up you know listening to trap music and shit loud as hell you know looking for somebody's life to ruin in israel man looking for fault man don't be that guy <laughs> all day nigga shit just go do something else man but see, a lot of people aren't comfortable in their own skin. And they know that they got demons on. So what they do is they uh, they uh, spend their time always pointing the finger so that they can feel justified in the bullshit that they're doing. And you got people who like all around America, man, like these people, the people who, who, who know the truth. But a lot of these people who don't know the truth, they that's just what they do. That's what Esau does. You know, he basically creates a, a narrative and pushes it and uses it to justify, you know, sh destroying you because he, he's the devil. So he has to put deception out there. He has to do too much, <laughs> you know, and, and, and to try to get a victory, man. This, oh boy, but this is uh, Hebrews 12 and 15, looking diligently lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. So bitterness is going to come. But if it, if, it, if it, you know, troubles you to the point where you overcome by the flesh, because you got to look at these guys who, you know, um, used to be in the truth, you know. A lot of them fell out after they got rebuked. You know, they couldn't take correction. You know, uh, you know, they were offended at prophecy. You know, when it came time for the Lord to move on them, to, cor you know, correct them through his men so that they can be, you know, restored, they couldn't take it. They were offended by prophecy. They were offended by the will of the Lord, you see. And when you do that, you lose because you'll never win that game. Like the, the House of Consciousness, they complaining about why would God put us in slavery? Why would God do this? But ain't it happening? Didn't it happen? You, could, you, could, you can't change that outcome. It happened. So you're still subject to the will either way it goes. <laughs> Whether you accept it or not, we went into captivity, man. You know, Esau, Edom is, is ruling over us. We're in the belly of the beast. Whether you like the will of the Most High or not.
you know. So you can't allow bitterness to overcome your spirit, man. Because when bitterness overcomes your spirit, you start to do things to justify, you know, creating your own vengeance. And you, you'll make things up in your head, you know. And these things, the Lord sees this, man. You know, you got to understand the Lord, ultimately, he, he, he clearly sees everything. You know, the angels, as the scriptures say, let me look that up. eyes of the Lord it's um it's coming up earth whose heart is perfect towards him yep bam Second Chronicles 16 and 9 For the eyes of Yahweh run to and fro Throughout the whole earth To show himself strong In behalf of them Okay In the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him Herein thou hast done foolishly Therefore from henceforth thou shalt have wars You see So the eyes of the Lord are constantly in the earth man Your thoughts, what you say, what you do <laughs> These things are going to matter very, very soon. You know, so I just wanted to get into that, man. You know, the Lord's uh, word does not return void. You know, it's going to prosper in that which he sent it. And that goes with, that goes um, with the things that happen to us as well. And the opposition we, you know, are, are going to ultimately encounter this is isaiah 55 and 11 so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing where unto i sent it so you know you apply these things to the best of your ability because again we're in the flesh you know some things are going to make you angry some things are going to you know really mess with your spirit you know but the a good you know solution to eventually getting over it faster is that's the will of the lord now what now how do i move what's the next move that i may please him or or, or you know what will you how will i do something you know what will bring life you know because when you go around trying to create your own vengeance man that 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 is a very dangerous game to play. However, the spirit is on men to play it. You know, so I can keep going. You know, I just wanted to bring that out. Hopefully, I was edified. Just wanted to uh, sit out here and preach. You know, uh, giving all praise to Yah, Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations unto the elect. Shalom.